Students took a stand at Big Walnut today with hundreds of students in athletic gear walking out today before school let out. Thanks for joining us at six. I'm Andrew Kinsey and I'm Yolanda Harris. Now student leaders tell 10 TV this is all about the school board pa pausing a vote last week about whether to maintain its membership in the Ohio High School Athletic Association because of its transgender participation policy. Tonight we have team coverage of this story. Sports anchor Dave Holmes is here to break down what happens if a school isn't tied to OHSAA. But first, NTV's Ashley Bernanson spoke to one of the student leaders at the walkout. And Ashley, why do they say they're so passionate about this cause? Yeah, Andrew, you'll learn about 400 students walked out of the school today just after 2 p.m. They were wearing athletic gear and signs that say let us play. I did speak with one of those student leaders who stood up and spoke at today's peaceful assembly, and he said the big walnut being in the OHSAA is crucial for student athletes and that they just want to compete. Now the students tell me this is not about politics at all. This is simply about being able to play sports, a huge component to the high school experience and beyond. The walkout comes just as last week. The school board president Doug Crawl recommended pausing the vote until May to have further discussions about the OHSAA's transgender policy. He said he made that move because he wanted the school board to have enough time to discuss the issue. Now to the OHSAA, the policy in has been around since 2015. It allows transgender athletes to compete according to which gender they identify. Grant Colson is a junior at Big Walnut. He says if the school board doesn't renew membership with OHSAA, it would limit participation in tournament play, and that could mean fewer opportunities for further advancement in athletics his senior year. We value um, extracurriculars and sports and it, it, you know, exceeding at high levels isn't possible without being in the OHSA. Now that school board meeting is this evening at 630 to discuss the issue and hopefully come to a resolution. We do have team coverage and we'll have all of that at 10 TV.com in Sunbury. Ashley Bornanson, 10 TV News. Ashley, thank you. As a school board gets ready to debate its OSHAA membership, Dave Holmes did some digging into to find out what happens to the district that isn't a member. He is live now with those details. Dave. Well, it would be incredibly rare for a public school to not be affiliated with the OHSAA. In fact, after doing a little research, I couldn't find a single public school in the state of Ohio. There are some smaller private schools, but not any major public schools. If Big Walnut decided to split from the OHSAA, their student athletes wouldn't be allowed to compete for a state championship. Now, Big Walnut could still play a full regular season schedule as long as they find other schools willing to play them. Big Walnut would also be removed from OHSAA publications like rule books, and they would lose their right to vote on future issues. But there's also the potential of student athletes deciding to transfer. You might remember back in 2010, Southwest City Schools canceled fall sports because of budgetary reasons, and we saw a lot of students decide to transfer. Now, the difference is Big Walnut students could still play sports, they just couldn't compete for a state championship, and that could be enough to make some students decide to leave the district.